do the dry install with the Supreme Wrap wrapping film. Uh, this is Ram Hemi Hood. So what we are doing here is it's very critical that you get the center point for this kit. Good here and up here. If you're tall like me, you can take that down. If not, get a stool and go from the side. All right, so what we're doing here is we're just lining up both sides to make sure we are perfectly centered. This is definitely a major issue with this kit. If you're off center, your void is going to show it. So make sure that you are getting both sides on. We're not doing any of the install yet. This is just lineup. So make sure you're not outside doing this in the wind. Make sure you are not out in the heat, especially with a dry install. It will cause the adhesive to be very, very, very aggressive. So make sure you're in a nice cool spot. Also, make sure that your hood is cooled down. If you've been driving the vehicle, you need to pop the hood and let the engine cool down before you even bother installing this kit. All right, now that we are centered, everything looks good. Everything is taped down and held into place. We'll start with the hinge method. And with wrap film, you do not install it wet at all. If you see any kind of grooves in the adhesive side itself, you never install it wet. What you can do is cause major paint damage. It can rust out the paint and it will also cause the material to be defective. Also a good way of always knowing if it's wrap film, if you see honeycomb shapes in the material or if you take your thumbnail across the paper liner, you'll, you'll feel little grooves and you'll actually hear it. So as far as it goes, that is how you will know if it's an air release product. If it's silky smooth on that liner, it would definitely be a wet install. Make sure you use a nice sharp pair of scissors. We suggest you do not take a knife blade across it because you can cut into the paint by accident. Make sure any paper fibers have been wiped off and go ahead and start the install. So with this, overlapping strokes is key. Make sure that the squeegee strokes are very firm. You want to make sure that there is no air that's getting held in between a squeegee stroke. If so, you can fix that with air release product. Once again, we do suggest that you try going through a installer, a professional installer, when going through the installs, if you feel like this might be a little bit over your head. Now take off your hinge. Carefully remove the liner. Make sure you are not wrinkling the film when doing so. Line up your center point and continue squeegeeing.
Now at the front, you might have to pop it up here and there just so you're uh, being able to take away those extra little wrinkled. This is always important to go back over your work following all your squeegee strokes. That way you are ensuring a good bond. And with the wrap film, you must come back and post heat the film. There is instructions inside your kit that will tell you what kind of temperature to get it to. As far as this goes, you can leave on the masking off the side that's already been installed and go ahead and start your install on the other and repeat the process and then we'll show you after it's the masking's coming off. All right, go ahead and take off your center line and we will show you really quick on taking off the masking. This masking is a little bit aggressive, so be very careful when you're peeling across the edge. Peel back the material or the masking against itself. Pull very slow but firm. If you pull straight up, you have the chance of ripping the vinyl or pulling it up off the vehicle, causing bubbles. So this is the way to do it. Now, as you can see with the one that still has mask on it, it looks like there's a lot of imperfections and all that in the material, but really there's not. This is what it actually looks like. This was just the masking. So once again, back against the self, and then we will show you post heating. All right, when post heating, you wanna make sure you're not putting the, the heat gun directly against the surface ever. You will burn the material. So keep it a couple inches up off the surface, and all you're doing is you're just going slowly around the edges and all across the film. What this is doing is this is securing the bond of the adhesive to the paint surface. If you start seeing bubbles start popping up, do not immediately push them down. You can cause the uh, the scales of the material to show through. Just give it a second, let it cool down, and then you can actually take your thumb and rub across it. If that does not take it and push the uh, air out, then you will need to pin prick it very carefully and release the air that way. But the material should come out, or the air should come out without a problem.